Hello and welcome back guys. So we have schools, staff, students, and now we need to create classes. That way we can add our students to a particular class so they can take some tests. All right, so I often don't say this. Uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps out. That way I can uh, create more videos and more content that you like. So please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't take much. Okay, so if you've subscribed, thank you. Let's move on. So the interface for the classes is going to look something like this one for schools. So which means we're just going to copy schools and paste it on classes, obviously. So let me close all my files here and let's go to schools. Where is schools, by the way? OK, so that's the controller for schools. So I'll copy that, create a new file, paste. Save this file instead of schools, it's going to be classes. Classes and save. So likely for us here, it's classes and not uh, class because otherwise class is a keyword. This would have been a problem, right? Because that's a keyword. So classes like that. Same thing here. Uh, classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what else? Uh, this is looking okay. Rows, rows. Now, instead of uh, school here, new school. Anyway, for now, let's leave it at that. Let's go to classes down here. We're going to copy the view from schools. Select all and copy. Now, just like schools for a class, we just need to give it a name to begin with. Then we can add other things later. So we copy everything from school view, create a new view here, paste, save. And just like we saved school here, we're going to save classes. Save. So at this point, if I go to classes, now I have an interface to look at. Very nice. So obviously we have to change the contents of this thing. First of all, instead of school here, it's a class. Class name or class title, that's uh, all up to you. Add new should take us to classes slash add. In fact, what I could do is just control D to change every reference to schools to classes. Okay, that should speed things up a little bit. And what else? Hmm. Row school. So let's leave the row stuff before because we don't have a table yet. So that might be a problem. So class name created by the add new. We don't need switch to because we are um, we are not switching to a class for any reason. So refresh and there we go. So we have classes now. If this is not good enough for the titling, you can add something else here. Maybe an H four or H five. Uh, let's say classes like so that's way that this way it's clear where we are so I can copy this also to the schools view and paste it right about here that way we know where these are schools obviously we have to change that like so so we know we are on schools, we know we are on classes. Okay, so 
now we need to be able to add a new one and edit edit a new one or edit an existing one so this one takes us back to add new school is it classes add why did we go to this though oh i see yeah that's why it works it's working because in here we have this add and it's redirecting us to the correct thing here schools.add okay so what we do is we need to duplicate all these views so the edit the add new let me copy that this is school.add let's create a new one new view save so instead of school.add this one is classes dot add dot view and then let's copy the edit as well edit everything will be exactly the same copy let's create a new file paste save click on the edit one just change the name to classes good then the delete now select all copy create a new file as usual paste save select the delete change schools to classes save alrighty then now the editing begins so if we go to classes.php we have to change our references now so in the add function we have to change all references to schools which is right here let me change that classes and same thing here classes like so okay that helps redirect classes as well here great everything else remains the same we will change the uh the model once we create our own and back here again this is the edit same process let's change schools to classes same thing here classes and edit edit same thing back down here to delete same process classes and here as well classes delete delete okay things are looking great 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 all right so everything is good but we are not supposed to see anything here because we don't have any classes we should be able to add a new one instead so let's create a model so that we can be able to do that so i'm going to go to our models here and we are selecting the school model as our copy i'll right click on models new file paste save this file uh, instead of school it's a class class.php now this is a problem here class says hmm the problem is class is a keyword in php so this doesn't sit well let's put es so that it's classes.php and save that now the implications of that is that uh, let me change this here classes model the implication is that it's going to add an s to try and find the um, the correct table so instead we'll give it a table by just saying protected table is equal to classes that will be the name of the table with a small c like this okay so once we've done that you will know what table we are running with 
So school here should change. Let's change all references. Press Control D if you're using Sublime Text. Let's change that to class. Okay. Good. So it'll be the class name, the date. Yes. Uh, make class ID, make user ID. Mm -hmm. This is all good. Before insert, after get user. Why do we need a user? Yes, we need a user there as well. So everything remains the same. So data class, this is pretty much only letters and no spaces allowed. Okay. Everything else seems uh, pretty good. User ID, yes, yes. And then we have the class ID, yes. Mm -hmm. But we need one extra one here. We need to t we need to know which school this class belongs to. So I'm going to duplicate one of these functions. And this is make user ID. Uh, let's start with make school ID, then the user ID, then the class ID. So here we'll change this to school. Make school ID. So if there's something set in the user, let me just change that to school ID. Yes. So if it is set the school ID, then set it to that school ID. As simple as that. Only that we have to add the make school ID to the before insert so that we can have that added there as one of the functions to run. Otherwise, everything else looks uh, pretty good. Okay. Okay. So at this point, we are ready to add a school only uh, in the add section here so oh, we want to add a class sorry so school id that's correct let's go to classes dot add dot view so add new class so let's see if there are any references to and then change them to class so what else this one as well schools any more references will set to classes. Uh -huh. Let me find any other reference to school. If what have I done? What have I done? Okay, so there's school there, which we need to change. So that. We'll change to class. Okay, great. This does it. So if I come back here and now, oh, by the way, in the classes controller, we must change our controller name to, hmm, to classes. So all references must be changed classes too many s's there okay classes uh -huh. let's see anyone have too many s's probably not okay that seems to be uh, it so, oh, sorry, this school right here should also change. Make sure that you have the uh, case sensitive here so that you can select properly. And let's change that to classes. Okay, good. Now the problem is just that uh, the classes table doesn't exist. So if I refresh, you see, uh, we have a problem code to undefined method find all oh is that so 
Uh, but find O should be there, ne? Causes find O. Why isn't it there? This one extends. This is a controller, right? Uh, classes, classes. Where is classes model? There it is. Does it extend model? Yes, it does. So why isn't find all there? Oh, that's, no, we didn't change it. It's right here. So what is going on here? Back here, let's see, uncaught error. Call to undefined method classes find all. That's on line 19. Uh, yeah. Which is right here. Hmm. Let me do a var dump. Or well, let's do a show. Just for starters. Okay. Classes object. Okay. That's nice. All right, let's fix the problem in the next video to avoid making the video any longer than it is.